Hey, a pleasant good day, Royals fans. This is the latest edition of the Royal Take as our Royals go one for one on the weekend as Usti and the team have one good game. And then Usti and the team, primarily Usti, unfortunately, in the second game have an off game uh, leading to the loss 2-1 to one to the main Mariners. But we'll start with the great game that Garrett Cockrell was able to start with a point wrist shot and score. Uh, McFadden had a great backhander. Ebbing had a great shot in front. And then Morrison had a great rebound goal. And then Cicere was able to get the fifth. And then they were able to get a goal from Grasso and Alexandra Carrier. But in this game, the Reading Royals came out in full force. They came out in bunches and then never took the gas off or never took their foot off of the gas pedal, and they just kept coming and coming and coming, and they never let the Anirondack Thunder get back in this game. Were they able to score two goals? Yeah, they didn't get the shutout, unfortunately, but this was a great game. I would give that game a A for the way that the Reading Royals played. It was a great overall game. They played good defense, they played good offense, and they just absolutely shut down the Anirondack Thunder in their home barn, and and just completely stomped on them and won that game five to two. Unfortunately, the same couldn't be said um for the game the next day on Saturday against the Maine Mariners, Danny Briere's team, um, which they ended up losing two to one. Uh Jacob Pritchard was able to score in a battle and goal that he was able to get in front um where he was able to get it past uh Boudreaux. Uh, uh, Brodeur, excuse me, not Boudreaux, Brodeur, uh, he was able to get a pass Jimmy Brodeur, who had a pretty good overall game, and then when it came to the Reading Royals, uh, Kirill Stamenko obviously would want this game back, uh, he gave up the puck to Nick Master, the deciding goal from the local area product that actually played one game for our uh, Lehigh Valley Phantoms, um, of the Flyers affiliation as well, actually played a game when he had to fill in uh, due to the injuries of the Phantoms and the COVID protocols earlier in the season against the Bridgeport Islanders, but he was able to score due to a mistake by Kirill Usti Ustamenko, unfortunately, and that is what led to their winning goal as Cameron Askew was able to score the other goal uh, for the main Mariners. Um, That game, overall, I I would have to say uh, Redding uh, still pushed the pace offensively. They won in shots. They just couldn't get it past Brodeur. Jimmy Brodeur, uh, he played a hell of a game. Uh, the only goal that was able to get past him was that battle and goal that Pritchard was able to score. Uh, otherwise, or Jeremy Brodeur, excuse me, played a hell of a game. The only thing able to get past Jeremy Brodeur was the hell of the battle goal in front. And uh, otherwise, he played an immaculate game. He gets an A for his game. The Royals, I think will get a B plus for the way they were able to push on offense. And uh, an overall game, I would say that was probably like a B plus game. Sometimes you just lose uh, games that you actually play fairly well in low scoring fashion because it becomes a goaltender game and it becomes the first goalie to let one in or in this case, make a mistake. And that ended up becoming Ustamenko playing the puck. Nick Master was then able to wrap around and score. And that's what happens. When uh, you have goaltenders that play puck, they really help your defense, obviously, to take pressure off them, like the Louis Domingues, the Alex Daylocks of the world. Usti does that as well. But they're also more prone to, unfortunately, make those mistakes uh, as well. And that's what happened there. Obviously, as I've said in past videos, I want to continue to see goalies that have to just play in the puck, play the puck, because that's going to continue to just take pressure off the defense. But my point being is, unfortunately, at times, it leads to what happened. So the Royals go one for one over the weekend. They still have very good success, obviously, uh, on the season uh, as our Reading Royals right now as we wrap up this video, as we take a look at the standings. Our Reading Royals right now are actually in first place at 18, 19, and 5 of 42 points uh, over the um, Newfoundland Growers, who had 17 10 and 2. We have 33 games played to 29 for Newfoundland, 30 for Trois Rivieres, 36 for Maine, 35 for Wooster, and 20 or 33, excuse me, for Adder Rondek. But I hope everyone enjoyed this video, the latest edition of the Royal Takers. Our Royals go 1-1 one and one on the weekend, beating the Anirondack Thunder and losing to local area product Nick Master and the Maine Mariners. Please you can subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Use widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe and enjoy the hockey.